Mount St. Helens erupted 37 years ago in an awe-inspiring, incredibly destructive volcanic blast that destroyed or seared 230 square miles of land. No trees were left upright within six miles of the summit. The combination of the lateral blast, the debris avalanche, pyroclastic flows, and lahars made the landscape seemingly desolate, devoid of all life. Yet, just a few weeks afterwards, small animals and insects such as ants and gophers reemerged. Within the first year, small plants had started to reclaim the devastated landscape. Moss, low shrubs, and wildflowers punched their roots through the volcanic ash and debris. 110,000 acres of land surrounding the mountain were set aside to study the area's recovering ecology. This is the Mount St. Helens National Monument. In the following years, scientists witnessed an ever-increasing number of plants take hold. The first were those that absorbed nitrogen from the air, storing it in their roots. Once a few plants were established, they helped create an environment where others could thrive. Birds returned, as did record numbers of elk. Trees are very slowly re-establishing themselves in the area, primarily along the edges of streams and lakes. The plant recovery was fairly rapid at first, but has since plateaued off. And, while the mountain sleeps, it does turn over occasionally, showing that there will quite likely be more volcanic activity in the future. Immediately after the eruption, a lava dome began growing at the center of the massive crater. All went quiet, aside from the occasional tremor, until the 2000s. In 2004, the dome started growing again, this time issuing forth a slow plume of steam visible as far away as places like Portland. Access to the park was restricted until the volcano's activity subsided in 2008. In April and May of this year, there were a cluster of over 100 minor earthquakes, all below a magnitude of 1.3. The increased earthquake activity wasn't accompanied by visual changes on the surface, but it still put researchers on alert and reminded everyone that Mount St. Helens is not done with us yet.